Well, an overnight lacrosse camp is happening this weekend. Casey McKinnon is live at the Chula Vista Elite Athlete Training Center with details. Casey, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes, well, this is going to be a very exciting four days for so many lacrosse players from all around the country who are here to go to the Paul Rabel overnight as well as the um, other camp for the girls' side was Charlotte North. And if you're familiar with lacrosse, you know the name Paul Rabel and Charlotte North. So I have Paul Rabel joining me right now, and he is the co-founder of the Premier Lacrosse League, but you also do so much. You're one of the top five best players in the whole entire world with the sport of lacrosse. So, Paul, what does it mean to you to bring a camp like this to the West Coast and grow the sport of lacrosse? What's well, huge for us? The Olympic Training Center here in Chula Vista is one that we really enjoy being at for its amenities, but also just the environment where we can take everyone who comes here through a great experience. And then the West Coast, our headquarters for the PLL is in LA, and we see so much growth here on the West Coast. Uh, the World Games are coming up this summer, where you'll see uh, Canada, US, and the Haudenosaunee. And then we're likely going to play on the West Coast again. We haven't announced our season schedule, so it's, it's a really important market for us. And then this camp itself, Rabel Overnight, what does it entail? What are the ages for the kids who are involved in going to be here meeting yeah. you, but also playing the sport that they love? Yeah, well, this is our 10th ever, Rabel Overnight. At least I'm being told we've been running it, I think, for seven years. Um, and we do one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. So kids, as you said, come from all over the country. Uh, it's limited. So there's 100 kids who come because we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings. So we view it really as a holistic event. So lacrosse, obviously, mm -hmm. but what else is important to athletes? Well, it's their nutrition and hydration, it's their sleep, it's their overall well-being and personal growth. And if they're interested in creative or business, we have those sessions. So it's, it's, it's really like an all-encompassing event. And the business side of things, that's sort of what you're doing now. Yeah. You are co-founded the Premier Lacrosse League. Tell everybody what that is if they aren't familiar because yeah. it's a pro lacrosse league. Yeah, yeah. Well, we started a new league called the PLL in 2019. Uh, we're all over the country. The pro lacrosse had existed prior to that by Major League Lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Um, and all of the best players in the world sort of came over to the PLL at once. We just actually released a documentary on ESPN Plus called Fate of a Sport. So if you're interested, that would probably do a better job than me explaining it. But it is, uh, it's an amazing ground for the best players in the world to showcase their, all their skills on ESPN every summer. And for this camp itself, you have kids coming to meet you, but also play lacrosse and do a bunch of other things over the next four days. What does it mean to you, Paul, to be able to interact with the, the younger generation? Well, it's huge for me because I was once them. And so I know what it's like to be in their cleats and be really excited and passionate about this game. And then ultimately want to know what I need to do to make it to the next level. So I would listen to pros. I would go on YouTube. Uh, I would just try to tap into any form of instruction that I could get. Uh, so this is a really interesting opportunity and unique for me to directly work with the next generation of players. And then for those who are in high school right now and maybe sitting at home watching or they're going to see this later, what's the best advice that you can give them as they are looking to play at the next level? Well, I think that um, there often isn't a secret sauce. It, it's just consistent work ethic day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And if you have the ambition to play in college or play professionally or internationally, just strap in because it's going to be a 15 to 20 year ride and you have to get comfortable with the monotony of the day-to-day -day practice and discipline that comes with sports. You know this, you played college lacrosse too. Um, and I think that to me is, is what differentiates uh, the best players is they just commit to the work every day. Well, Paul, it was a pleasure to meet you. I hope you have a great time over the next four days. And you brought the East Coast weather to oh, San it's Diego. It's a little chilly <laughs> out here, but as soon as you put those cleats on and start hitting the field, you're going to warm up. So the sun is finally out, and we are having a great day. And coming up in our next hour, we are going to be speaking with Charlotte North, who is a Team USA player, as well as um, she won the Torrington Award this past year. And she's just the face of women's lacrosse right now. So we'll send things back to you for now. Ah, very cool. Did Paul evaluate your lacrosse skills there, Casey? <laughs> no, unfortunately, I don't have my stick nor the right shoes. <laughs> yeah, but, but you do have uh, an ACC championship ring and a national championship <laughs> ring. Let's not bury the lead here. I do. I've got one of the rings on right now. There it doesn't come off. That's right. <laughs> That's right.
<laughs> Just a little hardware to show In off. In the presence yeah. of greatness. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Casey. Very cool. Thanks, Casey. So